Okay, there. So it looks like we got the title and stuff set correctly. So what, what I'm doing now is I showed you guys a video earlier, just a live video of a uh, comparison of a 1080 to the new 3060 card. So I wanted to um, show you guys what's going on here when I'm mining with just the single uh, the single 3060, not the 1080. Um, we're getting 59.11744 mega hashes per second. I did some uh, adjusting and editing to the settings on the 3060 to try to get the maximum out of it that I possibly could. Right now on a local profitability it's showing uh, $3.36 per day from that card. Um, on the actual profitability is showing $4.31 per day. At that rate, depending on your electrical bill or if you've got uh, access to free electricity, um, you could pay this card off in about 100 days if you could get it at retail. And good luck with that right now. Um, now keep in mind that these uh, cards will become more available soon. But in the meantime, the difficulty will increase to mine Bitcoin. Uh, now, when you're using these cards, you're not actually mining Bitcoin. You're mining the uh, altcoins, mostly with this card I'm mining Ethereum and getting paid out in Bitcoin. Um, that's kind of the easiest way to do it with a graphics card and something like NiceHash is a service that makes it extremely simple. It costs you a little bit to do it that way so you're not getting the profitability that you might get otherwise. But sometimes you're getting a little more than you might get otherwise because NiceHash is a service where people buy um, time on your machine basically to mine the coin that they want. Now, I am not associated with NiceHash in any way whatsoever. It's not a review of their service. I'm just using it because it's so simple to show you guys directly the profitability. So um, I hope that that is useful to you. Um, if we go to the history and stats, uh, previously I was uh, using both cards so these numbers don't really represent what that card would produce by itself um, but at 372 per hour or I mean per day or 503 per day I mean you're looking at $26.05 per week $111 per month and a thousand Three hundred and fifty-eight per year, uh, approximately in those ranges, um, coming from that one single card. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I got to say, I, I'm I'm happy with it so far. So we'll see what goes on. If you want to know what the settings are on it right now, I've got the memory clocked up uh, plus a thousand eighty-eight. Uh, my power is limited to 70%. The core clock I haven't touched. And the fan speeds, I've got uh, my automatic fan speeds set the way that I like them. And we're running about 65 degrees Celsius on the GPU, or yeah, the GPU right now. Um, and the fan is pushing about 70%. So. It's running cool. Uh, when it runs with the other card sitting right beside it, it runs a little hotter, and I didn't have the power and stuff turned down in the other video. So um, with the power limited, the draw, I, I haven't checked the draw, but uh, you know we're only pulling 70% of the draw that we would be otherwise. So that should help with the power bill as well. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to keep running this. Uh, hopefully get a couple of more cards so we can see how they run together. Uh, if they run hot. Um, you know, just see how this goes. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.